Now, wait a minute, boys. We might uh, get a piece of dough out of Paul Mall here. <laughs> How long yeah. is it going to be on? Yeah. All right. Try that. No, I don't want Show that a subcommittee is present consisting of Mr. McDowell. The industry, or in Hollywood as we commonly refer to it? I would uh, like to get the terminologies completely straight. Uh, communistic activities, I would rather phrase it uh, un American or subversive, anti uh, free enterprise, anti capitalistic. I have seen uh, the communists are stupid enough to try it that way. I have seen, I don't want to even place it that way. I have seen in certain pictures uh, things I didn't think should have been in the pictures. Could you tell the committee whether or not there has been an effort on the part of any particular group in the motion picture industry to inject communist propaganda into pictures or to leave out uh, scenes are parts of stories which would serve the Communist Party line. Uh, I don't like that word communist propaganda because uh, I have seen no such thing as communist propaganda such as waving the hammer and sickle or uh, in, 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 uh, in motion pictures. I have seen things that I thought were against what I consider good Americanism in my feeling and I, I have seen it in uh, I've seen pictures I thought shouldn't have been made. Shouldn't have been made, let me put it that way. May I interrupt just a minute? Yes. Smith, I am here to defend the industry that I have spent a greater part of my life in. <coughs> I am not here to, uh, I am here to defend the, the producers and the, and, the, and the motion picture industry. Now you ask me a question, if I, you want to be the name of picture with it? Well, may I interrupt before you Sorry. name a picture? I want to say that I'm competent to answer that question. Curtain, the title Behind the Iron Curtain, uh, is, uh, I think, copyrighted by a number of producers. I hope to see the day when this is made. I would like to see an honest uh, anti-communist picture, as I'd like to see an honest anti- and not to see it labeled as such, not as entertainment, labeled as such. Well, we heard yesterday from witnesses that... Uh, what have you heard from Hollywood as to the uh, uh, feeling on the part of the producers about producing anti-communist films? Well, I, have, I, heard, I, I heard they were going to... I believe that it would be an incredible success, and if the first picture was made, I think it would follow, as we do in Hollywood, that there would be, be many, many, many more made. I think it would be a very wonderful thing to see one made. I would like to see... I would like to see a picture of the Bulgarian situation. I would like to see the execution of Mr. Tetko by Mr. Dimitri, who was former head of the Comintern. I would like to see that shown to the American public so they would see how communism works. I would like to see the brutal beating, the stabbings, the killings, the shootings that go on. I uh, think it would libel uh, injury seriously. I believe that there are many people in the picture industry that would not have me in a picture with them. I think this has gone very much too far in Hollywood. The, uh, the line of cleavage is very straight. Uh, it is not like a good Republican or, or a good Democrat. This is a foul philosophy, this communistic thing. And it has embittered, embittered many, many people. The, uh, Have you heard or do you know it? Well, please, to come before the committee. Definitely. I believe that any man who is a decent American and believes in the Constitution of the United States free enterprise system that has made this country, given its people the highest standard of living of any country on the face of the earth. I believe that man should be very proud of it, should stand up for it, and not be afraid to speak. Did any other member of the committee have any questions? 
private. Due to my training in Culver, I was an officer very soon. If I were told that I had to swim the Mississippi River, I, if I were told there was a possibility of there being a war, even without a war, there's no better thing for a young man than military training. No better thing in the world for him, for his discipline, for his manhood, for his courage, and for his love of his country. I firmly believe in it. It never did me any harm. I like the Army. Any more questions from the members? Mr. Triplin, do you have any more questions? No, no. Go ahead with the testimony. We must have order in these chambers, or we'll be inclined to clear the room of the audience. Just a minute, just a minute, come away. Everybody sit down. All you people who are standing up, please sit down, and the photographers, please come over here. Everyone. Now you photographers will have to come over here. Where the testimony about to give the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help the God. Right. Sit down, sir. I want to emphasize at the outset of these hearings that the fact that the Committee on Un-American Activities is investigating alleged communist influence and infiltration in the motion picture industry must not be considered or interpreted as an attack on the industry itself, nor should our investigation be interpreted as an attack on the majority of persons associated with this great industry. I have every confidence that the vast majority of movie workers are patriotic and loyal Americans. This committee, under its mandate from the House of Representatives, has the responsibility of exposing and spotlighting subversive elements wherever they may exist. It is only to be expected that such elements would strive desperately to gain entry to the motion picture industry, simply because the industry offers such a tremendous weapon for education and propaganda. That communists have made such an attempt in Hollywood and with considerable success is already evident to this committee from its preliminary investigative work. The question before this committee 
and the scope of its present inquiry will be to determine the extent of communist infiltration in the Hollywood motion picture industry. We want to know what strategic positions in the industry have been captured by these elements, whose loyalty is pledged in word and deed to the interests of a foreign power. The committee is determined that the hearing shall be fair and impartial. We have subpoenaed witnesses representing both sides of the question. All we are after are the facts. The meeting will come to order.